Well, here we are, back in the Mondial. Now, I've got this lovely sea view behind me with some uh, lovely waves on there today. I think by the feel of it and by the sounds of it outside, Storm Kathleen has uh, has hit in the last few hours or so. So it's a little bit windy. Apologies for any noise here in the background. If the camera flickers, it's because it's on the side of the car where the wind's smacking against it. But anyway, I thought today, I thought you might find this a bit interesting if you're into doing car shows and travelling to get the car shows and back. Now, long-distance car shows can be expensive, especially when you put on top of that the entrance fee to get in the, into it, uh, in the event, any food you're having. So what I thought I'd do is a quick little video of what it cost me on the most recent long-distance car show that I went to. And of course, we took this lovely Mondeo down there, and uh, the event itself was, of course, Rustival at the uh, at the British Motor Museum down in Gaydon in Warwickshire. Now, from where I live, that's 240 miles, so or thereabouts. So about 240 miles to the event and about 240 miles home. So roughly 480 miles. Let's call it 500 miles and there's any detours, junctions, etc., etc. Now this Mondeo, it's uh, it's a 2 litre 16 valve and it does really well on petrol. And uh, it did really well on the way down there. It was very consistent with its mileage. Now before we left, the petrol up here where I live was about £1.55 a litre. So I put £50 worth of petrol in the car. And that took it up to just over three quarters of a tank and uh, got in the car, headed off. So that £50 worth of petrol I put in, that gave me 32.25 litres of fuel to get down there. As I say, it took it up to just over a quarter of a tank when we left. On top of that, there was the money to get into the event. Now, the Russell tickets were heavily discounted. Uh, you got into the Jaguar Heritage Centre, the British Museum and the Russell event itself, all for the case of the, all for the cost rather of £11. Two of us went, so that was £22 in total, plus the £50 to get down there to the event. Now, I left the house at about 5 o'clock in the morning, so 5 o'clock we left. Stopped off on the way down for a coffee for about half an hour, so it was, in total, it was a four and a half hour journey or thereabouts. The event itself was absolutely amazing. There is other videos on the channel, which you'll be able to go and search, and you'll be able to see those. I'll, uh, I'll link them in this video, so you can go and have a look at those ones as well. Now, on the way back, we left the British Motor Museum at around about half four in the afternoon or thereabouts. Uh, needed petrol because we were down to just over a quarter of a tank so we did the whole thing from my house down to the British Motor Museum half just over half a tank of petrol which was absolutely fantastic in a car that's uh, nearly 30 years old absolutely brilliant so on the way back went for petrol filled up now down there because it was motorway service we were using we paid £1.86 or I paid £1.86 a litre for petrol on the way back so this time around I put £60 of the petrol in and again strangely it gave me exactly the same amount just over 32 litres of petrol went into the car, taking it up once again to just over a quarter of a tank of petrol, and we're headed home. Got home for about half past 10, quarter to 11 thereabouts on the Saturday night. So in total, I was out on the road driving for around about eight, nine hours approximately. So a really long day, but well worth it. Total cost them uh, 60 quid of the petrol on the way back. So that's 60 pound, plus the 50 pound on the way down there, and the 22 pound you get in the event, brings it to a total of £132. So rounding it up, because obviously when we stop, we bought coffee and we bought a snack, so we eat. So I'm going to round it up to around about £150. So if you're planning on doing any long distance shows and you're taking something in around about a two litre size of car with you, uh, mine was roughly £150 all in, and that was an eight or nine hour drive, plus a fantastic event. I think we were there for about six or seven hours and then uh, left to come home as well. So a great event. But uh, if you're watching your pocket these days, try and be a little bit careful with your money because it can run expensive, especially if you're doing a lot of shows over the course of the season, like I do. Now, of course, I don't usually drive cars as small as two litres. As you know from, if you've watched any of the other videos on the channel, a lot of my cars are V8s and they're all over five litre in sizes. So economy, fuel-wise, doesn't normally bother me at all. But I thought having done a long distance journey in pretty much a standard British two litre car, it might be interesting for you to find out exactly what it costs to travel that kind of distance. So it was 480 miles in total, as I said, with uh, an approximate cost of around about £150. Right then, so was, although it looks absolutely gorgeous outside and the sun's beaming in through the sunroof, it's, it is really warm, but it's really, really windy as well. So I think I'm going to head home and grab a cup of coffee. See you in the next one. Bye for now.